Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Hughes with another health tip. If you have recurring pain, that's not normal, and you need to come in so we can find out what the underlying problem is and get that corrected so it doesn't get so bad that it can't be fixed. But let's say your problem just came on. In that case, do not put heat on your back. Heat will make your muscles relax, and that feels good temporarily, but in the long run it will make more inflammation and your back problem becomes more difficult to correct. Think of your wrist. If you sprained your wrist, you wouldn't put heat on it because the swelling would increase too rapidly. Instead, you put ice on it. And that's the way you need to think of your back, that you have a sprained back. And you don't put heat on it, you put ice on it. Now, I recommend using uh, ice packs, but don't use an ice pack that's hard like this because it won't conform to your body. Instead, use a flexible gel pack like this, that even when we take it directly out of the freezer, it's still flexible and will mold right to the body's contour. The thing is, we never put ice directly on the skin because that can cause frostbite. So instead, use a uh, cotton uh, kitchen towel and put the ice pack inside that, like this, and then you can put that on your skin like this. Now, it would be inconvenient to hold this on my neck, so what I would recommend then is taking another towel and putting it over, and now I don't have to hold it. In fact, if you folded it like this, that's enough friction to hold it tight on your neck. You can work at your computer, watch TV, or do whatever you need to do. Now, if your problem isn't your neck, then you don't need to use the kitchen towel as the barrier because your shirt will work as a barrier. Just lay the ice pack down on the ground and then lie on top of it wherever you have the pain. It's important when you ice to limit it to 15 minutes. Watch the next video and I'll explain how often you should ice and why. Thanks for watching.